People with spray cans paint graffiti on buildings and walls around the world. Some consider it art, others, vandalism. City officials in Vienna are trying to strike a balance. NHK World's Manuel Caneco reports from uh, the Austrian capital. Vienna has an old European beauty with its rich Baroque and Gothic architecture. But Vienna's stately buildings are being mauled. Graffiti like this seem to sprout up everywhere. Graffiti is a punishable offense in Vienna. But this has not held back the spray painters, who have recently turned their attentions to train cars. Last year, it cost the railway more than one million US dollars to remove the scrawl. It looks bad. We can't expect our customers to ride in cars with windows covered by graffiti that block the scenery. The city has yet to come up with a firm solution for the problem. But it has started a new project. The city allows graffiti, but only in designated areas. There are eight at the moment. Two kilometers worth of wall spaces available for graffiti. By making the space available to spray painters, the project aims to cut down on illegal graffiti on other surfaces. A personal tragedy led Vienna resident Doris Statzer to become involved in the project. An artist piece. Six years ago, her son Levin was killed in a car accident. He was one of the city's leading graffiti artists. Levin used to say some graffiti can be high quality and artistic and should be considered street art. Doris accompanies the project leader who works for the city government. They look for new surfaces for the spray painters. The project has helped local residents understand legal graffiti. As well, Vienna hasn't seen as much illicit graffiti. Recently, there was a street art event named Levin Jam, after Doris son. It's held annually. Doris organized the event with help from the city. This was the sixth time for the event. 300 people from Europe and the US attended. This is a great event for people who want to have fun doing legal street art. Some legal graffiti has, what would you say, a potential value as an art form. My son's life goal was, I would say, to spread awareness of it. Stutz's work helps usher in a new positive attitude in dealing with Vienna's graffiti problem. Manuel Caneco, NHK World, Vienna.